I saw this clip from Matt Walsh. He was posting uh, two clips, actually, one of Dylan Mulvaney and one of a spoof that they did from the new movie Lady Ballers, which is coming out tomorrow on Daily Wire Plus. Matt Walsh says the funny thing is that our parody of Dylan Mulvaney in Lady Ballers isn't any more cartoonish or degrading than real Dylan Mulvaney videos. That's what happens when you make fun of something that's already a mockery. Matt Walsh may be insulting Dylan Mulvaney. I'm not sure. But let me rephrase this in a way that uh, I interpret it to be. Dylan Mulvaney is intentionally insulting trans people and women. I do not believe that Dylan Mulvaney is actually trans. I believe that Dylan Mulvaney got whatever uh, plastic surgery modifications for the same reason any other celebrity would to fit a role or to make money and generate fame and, and fortune. Um, my reason for believing this is that Dylan Mulvaney does not act like a, a trans woman. I know trans women, and we've had several on the show, and they act like people. You can argue that trans women are men. You can say all the things you want to say, but they're effeminate. Dylan Mulvaney runs a bunch of stereotypes about females, insulting them. Now, following this post, there was also another post of Dylan Mulvaney having a very serious mental breakdown. And I think this is an example. Uh, uh, this is what we've been warning about when we've actually been. And I, I want to say, I know a lot of people probably despise and hate Dylan Mulvaney. Don't even want to talk about the individual. I'm concerned. I want Dylan to be OK. And I think the people who are who are creating this system, which promotes this, are despicable evil. I'm going to take you back in time. I'm going to show you the transformation of Dylan and how this whole thing came to be and what I think. You know what I think? I think Dylan Mulvaney is not trans. I think Dylan Mulvaney was just trying to desperately be an actor or whatever, comedian, and it wasn't working. And failure is not fun. And Dylan found an open door, and it was claiming to be trans while insulting trans people and women, making people who hate trans people and women laugh the whole way through. Dylan then pursues this and every day lays one more brick to the foundation that eventually makes Dylan become this. The breakdown video is sad. Dylan posted it to uh, uh, his own uh, channel, their own channel. I don't, what I, I don't I'm not sure the pronouns. I'm going to play it for you right now. And uh, I want you to see this. And I and I, I am posting this. I'm not here to rag on this person. I'm here to be critical of big tech, of TikTok, for promoting people's self-destructive behaviors, which causes them harm and statistically increases the risk of suicide. I'm going to play this video for you now. Yes. Yeah, OK. This one's going to be rough. This is supposed to be a crying day. Why do I always feel like crying? Why do I always feel like crying? Don't do it, Dylan. Don't you dare. No! I feel a little better. Why do you always feel like crying? Man. Well, I want to show you the clips that Matt Walsh brought up because I believe it proves that Dylan Mulvaney is not trans. Or I believe it pre presents strong evidence. But uh, I actually want to show you uh, Dylan Mulvaney's own uh, uh, page going uh, way back in time here. It's actually relatively difficult to get all the way back to the beginning. I've showed this before, uh, shown this before, but I think it, it really does matter. And uh, look, I know a lot of people are like, who cares about Dylan Mulvaney? It's not about Dylan as an individual, although I am deeply concerned about Dylan's health and safety. And I don't believe there's anyone there who actually cares for this individual. I think the issue is how social media algorithms are encouraging this and what it leads to. If you go back to Dylan Mulvaney's earliest posts, um, some of them have a lot of views. Uh, Gay Koala King has 10 million, 11 million nearly. And you can see that Dylan was trying to do some kind of animal content, animal news presenter content. And it didn't really get a whole lot of traction. Now, of course, now the videos have half a million plus, And it's likely because with Dylan's fame, people have gone back and watched old videos. But you can see that there was a certain period where this really wasn't generating a lot of attention. And then eventually there was a change. And some of them did. Some of them didn't. But all of a sudden, Dylan entertains this first from being gay to then being a they. And this is when things start to change. Interviewing animals still not doing all that well, non-binary coming out. And then you can see there's a certain point where the views actually start going up when Dylan embraces more trans uh, content wearing dresses. In this post, it says, I'm a trans non-binary actor and have had trouble finding roles. 
That right there, I believe, is very strong evidence of exactly what I'm talking about. Don Mulvaney is not actually trans. Why? Don Mulvaney was posting content as a gay man only a short while before this. So Don Mulvaney was not presenting as trans non-binary to these various uh, acting agencies or auditions unless Dylan was doing it privately in public settings for public productions, but not on their own accounts. No, I think what happened is Dylan uh, found a path towards success in the non-binary stuff and then created this account claiming that I'm having a hard time doing this as a trans person, despite the fact that they had not been doing that for very long at all. Gender euphoria, more now 1.3 million views. And this begins the process of, hey, I'm coming out, full coming out video, 5 million views. It's a they. These videos were getting more attention. So Dylan embraced it. And then even after already announcing having hormones and being a she or a they, then doing a full coming out again after the fact. Why? The more Dylan embraced this, adding another grain of sand to the heap, the more views Dylan got, the more followers Dylan gained, and then started the day one of being a girl with 10 million views. Okay. This is what Matt Walsh points to. I want to play this video for you to make this point. Dylan Mulvaney is an actor who is engaging in this behavior for fame. And uh, Day one of being a girl, and I have already cried three times. I wrote a scathing email that I did not send. I ordered dresses online that I couldn't afford. And then uh, when someone asked me how I was, I said, I'm fine, when I wasn't fine. So, how'd I do, ladies? Good? How'd I do, ladies? This is the point. Matt Walsh is saying you can't mock something that's already a mockery. Dylan Mulvaney in this video was not trying to say, hey, look, I'm coming out. and This is who I want to be. Dylan Mulvaney was insulting stereotypes of women. Dylan Mulvaney was acting like women cry all the time for no reason. And certainly there's a trope and stereotype women cry more than men. That's a fact. But this is an insulting portrayal of it. I bought I ordered dresses I couldn't afford. And I said I was fine when I wasn't. These are insults. These are insults to women. I'll give you another example. It's a clip that I just jumped to. Let me play this one for you. This is Dylan Mulvaney intentionally trying to mock and insult trans people and women. I'm sick of these lies. I'm sick of this game being played where woke people act like this is what trans people are. I can hang out, hang out with Blair White. There's a reason why Blair White has has a large fan base of people who are moderate and even right leaning. It's because Blair acts like a normal person. Now, some people don't like trans people in general, and that's fine. You don't have to like anybody. You don't. You can you can reject it outright and, and not be a fan of it. Totally fine. A lot of conservative Christians do that. But if you hang out with Blair, Blair is not going to do this psychotic stuff. Watch this. Day 66, being a girl. And today I'm in nature. Trees. I love them. Water, lakes. I love them. Heels. They're my hiking heels. I hiking heels. <laughs> hiking. Because women wear high heels when they go on hikes. Lady Gaga, you Google this, wore heels on a hike once and it was it was like shock. Like, is she out of her mind? Dylan Mulvaney is insulting women. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so remarkable to me. Bridges, love them. Coconut water, love it. Not an ad, just love it. This is what I think. The people who watch Dylan Mulvaney content don't actually think it's stunning and brave or any of that. I think the people who are actually watching this are laughing at the downward spiral. They're reveling in the distress of Dylan Mulvaney. It's almost like a game. Keep egging this person on and see how far they can go. It's insane. This is why you end up with this video. This is nuts. Today wasn't supposed to be a crying day. Why do I always feel like crying? Why do I always feel like crying? This is so horrifying, dude. A lot of people probably saw that and I'm, I'm just imagining and they're laughing at it and they're insulting Dylan. Bro, this breaks my heart, man. This this is like. This this makes me want to cry, man. OK, this this psychological torment that this person is being driven to and being and they're pushing it. And they're pushing it. Yo, it's like watching an anorexic and people are online laughing, being like, don't eat. Or it's like watching those videos of the people who are morbidly obese and the men are like, yeah, eat more, eat more. And then they're going to die. This this freaks me out. It's so sickening. Here's the clip from Lady Ballers. Day one of being a girl athlete. I've already eaten a whole pint of pistachio ice cream, given up on parallel parking twice, reread Sense and Sensibility, and started washing down benzodiazepines with rose. 
I love you, girl. How'd I do, ladies? Lady. At How'd I do, ladies? The funny thing is, you're, you're supposed to watch that and laugh at it. Dylan Mulvaney was quite literally doing that same scene. Matt Walsh is correct. This is what happens when you make fun of something that's already a mockery. He's not saying Dylan Mulvaney is a mockery. He may be. I don't know. My interpretation is he's saying Dylan Mulvaney is is doing a mockery bit. He's saying that Tyler Fisher and Dylan Mulvaney are doing the same comedy bit. And here's what happens. Dylan Mulvaney is trapped in this world, continually going down the path, trying to chase the dragon as gawkers on the Internet laugh and say, do more, do more, destroy yourself. It started out as a comedy bit. Dylan just wanted clicks and it worked. And Dylan chased after it as people online and TikTok goaded him on to destroy himself, now herself. And now Dylan says, I feel like crying all the time. And I'm like, man, yo, there are sick and evil, twisted people out there. I wonder if you could stage an intervention for someone like Dylan, for Dylan, and they'd be like, I wish I never did this. This is how messed up the internet can be. TikTok encouraged it. People egged it on. They cheer for it. Why? I don't know, man. Because it was entertaining to them. That's crazy. You know, all these people that are like cheering for this. Make your excuses for this horrifying video of Dylan having a mental breakdown saying I'm crying all the time, all the time. Yo, that's serious depression, man. Someone needs to help Dylan Mulvaney. They're famous. That's why I do this video. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. But I warn, it's not, it's not about Dylan. It's about what the internet does to people in shattering their brains. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 6 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all then.